guys welcome back to my youtube channel so i just want to start this video by you know confirming some rumors there's been some chat going around you know suspicions that um my life is a mess and i'm here to tell you that they're true it's it's true like <laughs> Wow! No, yeah, things are tough, things are tense, things are not cute there by the hood. But you know what? Like, that's what I feel makes me qualified to make this video. You know what I mean? Like, I will put no effort into solving my own problems. But like, other people's problems, I got you, dog. Like, I got you. So, welcome to the second. I think this is the second. Welcome to the second Ask Auntie Max. Basically, what it is, is a very simple concept. You just like, tell me what's going on in your life. Tell me your issues. And me being, you know, like, the grown... I can't even think of any more lies, honestly. <laughs> like, just me being me and liking things and thinking I know everything. Meanwhile, I know um, nothing. It's going to try and help solve your problems. So, I asked people to, like, tweet me, Instagram me, WhatsApp status. Um, like, if you don't know my stuff like that, it's in the bio of this video. It's also, like, everywhere. So, um, yeah. So, I asked you to send me your issues and I'm going to sort them out. Well, yeah. Okay, let's go. I'm Max, member of Max's Low Budget Productions, hereby fully waive and release viewers and subscribers from any and all claims for personal injury, property damage, or death that may result from Auntie Max's advice. Please use at your own risk. First one says, I have a crush. I have no English, this one. First one says, I have a crush on someone who I feel like might not like me back. What do I do? Listen! <laughs> oh, baby. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. If you don't know if this person likes you back, they most probably don't like you back. <laughs> Speaking from experience, I like keep your mouth shut. Keep it quiet, keep it locked. Keep it tighter than the airlock on your mom's Tupperware because nah, dude, mm -mm, mm, don't, don't be out here confessing feelings. Cause there you look like Boo Boo the Clown when the guy comes back or the girl comes back or you know, the monkey comes back. Everybody got their preference. I won't judge you. But like when he comes back and he's like, um, yeah, no, I don't really feel safe. So we can stay friends, oh cool. Don't do it. Um, next one says, I'm trying to get my body right. Do I exercise or do I just eat healthier? Okay, so as a person who drinks seven gallons of caffeine a day, I don't think I'm qualified to speak on health issues, but you know, I'm gonna anyway. So first of all, everybody's different. I don't know how your body works. I don't know what's going on, but like, I know my body hates me. That's cool, fun and fresh. So like for me, it's usually mostly about what I eat. So if I need to like, you know, tone up or slim down or gain weight or whatever, whatever, or just like get my body tight and right, ready to go, um, it's usually more important as to like what I eat, okay? So a lot of people ask me because like I lost a lot of weight. I'm tired of hearing about that. Like, thank you for like celebrating me and my, you know, transformation, but also like I'm tired of it. Like I get it, you know, like I was a pumpkin, now I'm an orange. It's not like much much different, you know. Still big and round, but you know, thank you. I count calories, like I limit myself to a specific amount of calories depending on like what I want to lose and how fast I want to lose it. And then I track throughout the day through an app called Lifesum. So yeah, that would be my advice to that. Next one says, I'm moving out of the house and I'm going to live alone. Listen, moving out of home is the most empowering thing you can ever do for your life. Like, I have a wall of posters. Do you know what that means for like an African child? Like, this is a big deal. This right here, this wall, it's a big deal. Cause like living in my mama's house, who, who's, whose wall are you putting paintings on? Whose paint job are you gonna mess up when the press stick comes off? Who, 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 who? Yeah, so moving out is the best. It's so much fun. It's so cool to whatever. But like also, um, breathe. That's like my first advice because wow, things like happen really quickly. And like, don't forget the essentials. Um, I use a lot of like, when I first moved out, I use Pinterest a lot. Like Pinterest will give you like, you know, a moving out checklist, a moving in checklist, a how to clean your house stuff because wow, this adult life. <laughs> She's not that joke, eh? She's not a joke. Next one says, how do I politely stop talking to someone I've been talking to for over nine months now? Nine months, y'all could have had a baby. Did you have a baby? Because if you had a baby, I'm sorry. But like, if you didn't have a baby, like, just dip, dog. They'll, they'll catch you on the other side. 
So that's about as much as I can ignore my own problems and try solve yours. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe downstairs. Downstairs? Down? I don't know why I said downstairs. That was stupid. And I really thought it would be cool, fun, fresh and quirky, but like it just wasn't. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll check you in the next one.